morning, Tuesday, 23rd of October. We are here in Chitwan for a day, full day of safari. Okay, early day, let's go on a breakfast, then we're going on a canoe trip. Kevin's okay, having fun already with the guide. <laughs> we're on the way to the first thing, canoeing trip. Who's scared of alligators? Me! <laughs> so the canoes we're using, these are carved out of a single tree trunk. Ganges to Baranasi. Okay, this feeds into the Ganges. Ganges. Yes. yes. Okay, crocodile on the bank here. And this is not a piece of plastic, that's a real crocodile. No. <laughs> that one eats everything. Oh, there's another one there, no? Oh, that's a different kind. Ah, with a long slap cylinder. That's big, eh? <laughs> that's fresh, fresh water. They don't eat meat, so we don't have problem with that one. Ah, okay. This okay. one can hurt us, but that one eat only fish. Two different kinds. One is this one is the big one, eat everything together, so it's so giant. It's amazing. These are real living this creatures. This one everything eats. This is one you can see with the long, it's super flat. long cylinder. Mouth. Nobody shake the boat now, please. No. Now we are going through the rapids. What? Do you hear the, <laughs> do you hear the noise? Oh I hope you are full of food. <laughs> hope you're not look, looking for us. No. No? I hope you've had lots of fish. And now we just have seen some crocodiles and we also have seen kingfisher, a little bird that are blue and we have doing this canoeing and it was very funny and I actually want one more hour in the canoe. Yeah, easily but, we could spend an hour more. Yeah. But now we are going this way and see some more animals. We're going to, going to walk now through the jungle. Now we are walking in the jungle. Have to stay close together. You should never know what you're going to find. Maybe even tigers. Let's see. <laughs> to any big paths here. It really is a, a trek through the jungle here, or bush. <laughs> we're thinking of you while we're walking through the jungle here, while we're canoeing and thinking, oh, you would like this so much. Monkeys. Monkeys and deer, they live together, they help each other. Yeah, this, is a, this is a parasite tree and it's uh, one thing that's interesting, you can see the vine it's uh, wrapping around clockwise and it does that in the north, in the southern hemisphere it will, it'll uh, wrap around anti-clockwise. Same way you have a water uh, tap in the northern hemisphere it will uh, rotate in one direction, in the southern the opposite direction. Amazing to see. Yeah. Two young girls, now he wants to climb the tree as well. Oh, baby! 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 Oh, baby
Yeah, oh, you okay. can do it as well. Yeah, I'm gonna have to see if they get down again, otherwise they have tiger food. And then we'll come back tomorrow and see how many tigers you have. <laughs> <laughs> now we're bucking the breed in the center. It's two weeks old. Yeah. So here in this park, they keep them in uh, captivity here. In a few minutes, they'll be set free so they can go and feed. Mm -hmm. It's quite difficult to uh, get uh, elephants to breed in captivity. It's not easy. to see elephants just in the wild but apparently doesn't exist. <laughs> it's extremely difficult to uh, keep them contained without them just walking away and wandering off. So. Uh... Okay, I'll show you now the reason why you should check all over your body when you come back from the jungle here because <laughs> look at my leg and you see what was uh, what was just calling actually up my trouser leg while we're walking through the jungle and uh, sucking the blood <laughs> so here we just have to do a bit of a check this is the creature look like a worm and it's rather disgusting and it have all that is blood and this is Daddy's blood and... So we've just been back to the hotel for lunch and the next activity is a uh, elephant safari on the back of an elephant. So We'll see what that's like. We tried it once in India, we'll try it again here in Nepal. There's a rhino outside the hotel. Yeah, just in front of the table. Yeah? Okay, our elephant doesn't seem to be going anywhere, We're just having a rest and eating. <laughs> so we just sit here and wait. The other people are moving somewhere. Hello. <laughs> and they were overtaken by three elephants, they were just having a rest again. Their elephant is still hungry. <laughs> this is going to be a long trip. Okay, Alex and Melina here. Er vi så fri i Nepal og her ser vi rent faktisk en et næsehorn. Rent faktisk to næsehorn. Okay, now I'm feeding the elephant here, and now I show you how I do it. Let Daddy eat one more. Where did Andrew Britton return from the jungle? But luckily he did. Just give the money to the elephant man, and here you can see how the elephant takes the money.
This is Jamie's favourite elephant. A very elegant fellow there. Okay, the oldest elephant here is 90 years old. Here's the guy with the dust on the back there. Normally an elephant lives from 60 to 80 years. For our final evening, we've been taken to a culture evening. No idea what that is yet. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. So what we are seeing here, this is uh, the tribal people that used to live here in Chitwan before. They were forced to leave to make the national park. They're called the Tharu. People. That's why it's called Faru Cultural House. So they are, they're showing some of their tribal dances here that they used to perform. But, uh, they were all eradicated from the jungle here, actually forced to leave by the army. But, uh, they still have a cultural house here. You have seen on the video there was a pickup, there was dancing, and now Daddy wants to show how to do it. <laughs> this is how the pickup are dancing. You can get a jump here doing a peacock dance. <laughs> and this is a dance. And what do you think about that? I think it's very good. I think he could get a job here as a peacock dancer. Peacock dancer. I'm sure could he could. could be. Stay here in the jungle. Ha, ha, ha.